Okay, this video is another demonstration of dividing radical expressions. This time it's a little bit more complicated in the numerator. I've got two radicals up there, and I still have a single radical in the denominator where our monomial here. If you remember from the previous video, we talked about never leaving a radical in the denominator. That's also called rationalizing. Rationalizing the denominator. Okay, so like we did previously, we're going to multiply by something to get rid of that radical. And we normally like to multiply by a 1 of some kind. So I'm going to multiply here by is radical 2 over radical 2. That will get rid of this denominator here. Again, let me put that around there because I'm going to distribute that to both of those terms, not just to the radical 6x. And that is going to give me, in my denominator, the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is just 2. That's easy enough. Square root of 2 times the square root of 4x is going to be actually the square root of 8x. And that's going to be minus the square root of 12 some of you might be tempted to say if I've got the square root of 8x and minus the square root of 12x, I got the square root of negative 4x, and that's not correct, right? You can only subtract radicals when what you've got is exactly the same underneath, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to treat these individually, right, and see if we can maybe simplify them separately, and then maybe somewhere down the road we can put them together. Now, in the square root of 8x, I see a perfect square. I see the square root of 4, and what I've got left over is the square root of 2x. Let's put it that way. In here, I also see a perfect square. I've got the square root of 4 times the square root of 3x. When I take the square root of 4 in my next step, I'm going to get 2 and then the square root of 2x minus 2, again the square root this time, of 3x all over 2. Okay, so again, think of what I just did here. I looked at 8x, I looked at 12x, and I said there's a perfect square factor in here. So I pulled those out, took the square root of 4, made it a 2, in both of those, we're just lucky that I had them in both. And then whatever I had left over, I left under the radical. Okay, now, in step six, this looks like I got a lot of twos running around here, and I do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pretend that's a binomial. Well, I don't have to pretend it is a binomial. And I'm going to factor out two. That gives me radical 2x minus radical 3x. Now notice what I did there. If I re or redistribute this, I go back up to here. I just factored out the common term on both sides. I did that because now I can cross those out. People are always tempted to cross them out like once here, but I can't do that because of the subtraction sign there. Okay. My final answer in this problem is going to be the square root of 2x minus the square root of 3x. And that's actually the final answer. Now remember, I cannot subtract those and say the square root of minus x or something like that because radicals have to be exactly the same, the radicands as well as the index, in order to be able to subtract them or add them. Okay, I hope that helps, and good luck with the next problems.